Okay, so here we go. My little uh, rant for the Sunday. So I'm out the back just doing a little bit of painting on the walls and I'll said I'll take a few minutes out. I'll try and make this video short and sweet. Um, and basically what I want to say, um, it's got to do with the graffiti that was on the George there on, on Friday night. Um, and I shared it as well. And I was like, absolute door bags for doing this. So, a couple of points I want to point out. Um, yeah, I did see a lot of people sharing it, a lot of people upset. Uh, I wasn't crying or anything. I'm a big boy now. But I think it's more got to do than, with a little, than a little bit of chalk. Um, and it could have been written in pen, marker, paint, spray cans. It's still graffiti. But it's, it's graffiti on a discrimination point away of on a gay bar. And what I want to say to some people, I've seen a lot of people sharing it, a lot of people angry about it, and the community went into, the gay community went, kind of went into a bit of uproar on it. But I've also seen a few people sharing a few statuses saying, oh, it's just a bit of chalk, get over it. It's probably just a teenager. It's probably um, just kids or some, whoever it was. It'll, they'll be caught on the CCTV anyway. But I want to just let people know and remember this on the bigger picture of this. It was done on a gay bar. It wasn't sprayed on a wall around a corner. Or it wasn't sprayed or written on the ground somewhere. It was actually done on the, an actual gay bar. And I want the people who are going around saying or saying whatever got over it. it it's just washed off. It can be washed off. Um, I want you to remember this. Uh... There are people in this country who are not out yet. And there are people in this country who are teenagers, young kids, older people, people in marriages who haven't come to terms with their sexuality. And some of them may be on your page. Some of them may be your nephews or nieces or your cousins or your friends who haven't even told you yet. And for you to post and say things like get over, it's just a bit of chalk. I'm sure you can remember back to a stage before you came out. Well, I can, and I'm sure you can remember if any one of your friends around you or family start talking about gays, queers, and faggots, that you kind of cringe to be, that you're going to get caught, that they're all going to know that you're gay. So I think it's more than just a little bit of chalk, and it's got it boils down to people like me and people like you who got up and got out and made sure people seeing that we are equal people, and it's not just a bit of chalk at this stage. That's probably why it went into uproar. There's young kids now probably looking at that and looking at other things going, oh God, they're all being in, they're, 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 that gay bear has been slated. I better not come out yet. So don't forget the people who are younger than you or who are not out. Just because you're out and proud, that doesn't make it easy. It makes, makes it easier for you because you've came to terms with it. But there are younger people in the next generation below you who fear for their fucking life. And to see that on this Facebook, it's not allowed and it's not accepted. Obviously they're little fools who've done it. And they will get caught. And it's I don't think it was a fucking Irish person anyway. But you have to remember that there is people that below you in the next generation and there's people that you probably talk to and you don't think that they're gay. So for them to see that written in a gay bar, it's bigger than just a bit of chalk. It's unacceptable. And that's the way it is. And I don't care if people get onto this video and say, oh, Danny, will you leave it out? No, I won't leave it out. I won't fucking leave it out. I'll keep talking all the way through it. Um, you have to remember there's people who are still not out yet in this country. Obviously, there's people that's out and proud and nodding and go around and do what you want. But some people are finding it difficult to accept their sexuality. You have to remember that. So it's more than just a bit of chalk. And for anyone that's watching this video who's not out yet, don't let that ruin your experience of coming trying to come to terms. That's just fills. Believe me. It is just fills. So that's my little rant for the Sunday. Um, I'm going to go back out now and finish out my garden. I can't be out there because I can't show you. Nine and a half weeks to my own wedding. But um, yeah, for the kids that maybe are watching this video. And you can share this video if you like it. I don't, I don't really care. Um, don't let that ruin your experience of trying to come out. Just take your time and you'll accept who you are 
on your own terms and just have that person to talk to. But look, I'm gonna go, love is and leave us. It's gonna start bleeding raining and I have a lot of shit to get through. So, to the older people that's out and proud, grow up a little bit. It's more than just a little bit of chalk. Anyway, good luck, bye bye.